So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom widgets in stream elements that uses Amazon's text-to-speech engine called Polly that gets triggered when different things happen in Twitch chat. So to give you a better understanding, I want to give you five demonstrations on how to create these widgets. So in front of me, I have stream elements open here. I also have uh, my Twitch page open with Twitch chat. So let's just go through these examples. Uh, so example number one is a Twitch, there is a text to speech command. So if someone in chat writes exclamation text to speech, so anything written after that will be said aloud. So for example, it's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Or let's take another example. Bottom lane needs attention. So that's a simple text to speech command. So example number two is a knock knock uh, widget. So if anyone in Twitch chat simply types knock knock, this will randomize a knock knock joke and say it loud. So let's type knock knock in chat. Knock knock. Who's there? Any. Any who? Anything you can do, I can do better. So let's try knock knock again, see if we get another joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Cow says. Cow says who? No, a cow says moo. So example number three here is a transcript. So uh, in this widget I've done so if any mod writes anything, it will be said aloud. So to give you this example, we need to switch window here to another Twitch uh, page where I'm logged in as a mod to my Twitch chat. So anything I type here will be said loud. For example, give away in five minutes. Corgraph says, give away in five minutes. When are you going to be good at this game? Question mark. Corgraph says, when are you going to be good at this game? So anything that user says will be read loud for the rest of the stream. So example number four is announcement uh, death counter. So uh, usually when um, streamers play rogue like games, they usually have a death counter on their screams and they usually have a command that increases each time they die. So for example, if they type death, Special Agent Squeaky has died 52 times now. Feels this, bad, man. This basically just reads out the death counter. So let's try that again. Special Agent Squeaky has died 53 times now. Feels bad, man. So in the last example I want to do is a remind me command. So for example, if you type exclamation remind me, then the duration, let's say five seconds, and anything that's read, uh, written here will be read aloud after five seconds. For example, to give away. This is a reminder, do give away. So these are examples on how you can create your own uh, custom widget that uses the Amazon uh, text-to-speech system called Polly. So if you're interested, uh, continue watching this video. So before I show you how I did this, I'm going to say the same thing I always say in these guide videos, and that is that there is a link in the description beneath this video that will take you to a written version of this guide. So if you click on that link, you will come to this page here. And this is basically a, a written version of it, exactly what you need to do with screenshots and all the example codes I just showed you uh, the source code will be here as well. So don't worry if uh, this video goes too fast, just simply click on the link and we'll come to this blog post. So uh, another important thing I want to mention is that this blog post is based on another one. So this guide assumes that you've already set up uh, Amazon Web Service Lambda that talks with the Poly APIs. If you haven't done that, simply go to the blog post, click on this link, and you will be redirected to the previous blog I did where I've gone through the details on how to create this Lambda function that talks with the Amazon Poly APIs. So 
let's assume you've done that uh, and everything is set up correctly so let's go through the next step and that is to actually create the stream elements custom widget and this is uh, really straightforward and simple to do so let's head over to stream elements here so let's create a new blank overlay and what we need to do here is simply click on the plus button go to static custom then to custom widget so this is a custom widget and then we click on open editor and let's open up the javascript tab so let's say we want to do let's over, head over to our blog post here and let's say we want to do the knock knock joke example so let's copy the code here so i select all this code here copy head over to our widget Control a to select all Control v to save and let's press done and then save let's put a name on the overlay so let's simply type test for example so these are the steps necessary to do the custom widget so if you open up the editor here again so what's in html won't be used the css won't be used and the fields won't be used you could remove them if you want to it doesn't really matter because the javascript here won't actually render anything or use the css or use the settings so it's up to you all you need to do is to update the code so one last thing uh, I also want to mention is that since you've created your own Lambda function, uh, you have your own URL to your endpoint, right? So what you need to do when you've pasted in the example code here is to change the URL in this variable here, AVS URL based to your own uh, endpoint URL, whatever it might be. And if you want to change the voice here, uh, simply do that as well here. So this is now up here. Um, so if you go back to our uh, Twitch page and Twitch chat, and if we simply type uh, knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Cow says. Cow says who? No, a cow says moo. So these are the steps needed to create your own custom widget in stream elements that uses the Amazon text-to-speech uh, system called Poly. So if you think this video was useful and educational, feel free to give, uh, feel free to give a thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, um, I will see you in the next video.